Hello everyone, and welcome to the Meat Locker. So Bethesda have just released their extended look on the new game in the Fallout series, Fallout 76. We got an extensive look at what creatures and areas we might see whilst travelling across the West Virginia wasteland. But today, we'll be going over the scariest creatures we might see in Fallout 76. So first on our list is the Flatwoods Monster. The Flatwoods Monster is a cryptid that has been sighted multiple times around the frame town area of West Virginia. The entity is reported to be around 10 feet tall and 4 feet wide, which would be brooding for any lone wanderer to come across in a dark, desolate forest. It appears to wear a robotic suit of sorts with huge, glowing eyes. A few sightings of the creature have shown that before it appears, a bright light emanates from the sky. Could this mean it is an alien? Most Fallout games have had an alien, like in 3 we've had Mothership Zeta, and most recently in 4 we've had the random encounter of the spaceship crashing from the sky. Even as far as Fallout New Vegas, where if you had the wild wasteland perk, you could spot the crashed alien ship far north in the map. As we see in the gameplay trailer at E3, we see a creature in a dark forest with big glowing eyes and a strange mist that envelops it around it. Could this be the Flatwoods monster, or something entirely different? You see, he looks a bit small to be the monster, but it could be like sat in a hole, or even crouched down. Or it could be Fallout's take on the Flatwoods monster. A hulking, headless, pale monster, nearly the size of some houses. What could it be? The Grafton monster is a huge creature that has been spotted multiple times by hunters around the Tiggett Valley area of West Virginia. It's a gigantic, hairless, grey humanoid with arms disproportionate to the rest of its body. This one of many fans' creatures eagerly spotted. This is one of many creatures fans eagerly spotted in the Fallout 76 gameplay trailer at E3, as it emerged from a destroyed church in the background. A few hunters that have spotted it speculates it uses a low frequency whistle to help stalking its prey, as it has no sight at all. There isn't much that can be said for the most well-known cryptid around the world. It stalks the town of Point Pleasant. It was first sighted by a group of five grave diggers. The night of November 12th, 1966 was cold and dark. A mysterious mist covered the air as the workers worked tirelessly through the night. The trees across them shook in the light of the moon when a huge winged creature lifted off into the air before their very eyes. Its silhouette in front of the huge moon stunned them as it flew away into the dark night. What could it have been? Well, it's the elusive Mothman, a seven foot tall winged humanoid with glowing red eyes. His wingspan around 15 foot long, allowing it to fly at speeds over 100 miles an hour. It is truly terrifying when you think of it. The lone wanderer could be crossing the bridge at Point Pleasant, West Virginia, when it swoops down before him, the red eyes contrasting in the dark night. We get a pretty good glimpse of it during the gameplay trailer as it hovers above the vault dweller in the pale mist and moonlight. Hopefully, we do get a great experience with the monster, as fans and I would love to be stalked by the creature across the game, then have an infamous showdown where we shoot it down from the sky. Along with the usual creatures of the wasteland, I'd love to see those urban legends make an appearance in Fallout 76. It's safe to say each individual encounter would be truly terrifying for anyone to come across. But what other urban legends would you like to see, or think will be in Fallout 76? Write them down in the comments below and we can all hide from them together. So thank you very much for watching guys, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, but now, you're inevitably trapped inside the meat locker.